When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. We played people, we played sliding, we played jumping on the cushions. Whee! I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's bowl. like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. We shouted, shouted, shouted! Shush! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And we went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig! It can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Whee! Hey, Tig. That's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had Wooly under Mummy's work. Here's a chance. My toy spider, I said. <laughs> I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Willy. Come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Tig, are you okay there? Do you need the toilet? No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. That's Angel. The man was very clever. Yes, yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Girls, come with me. Wait, you see Daddy thing? said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited. I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toilet. Yeah, I so. No, I said. 
I want to see the funny picture. It's funny! A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! Wind machines? No. No what? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilet. Hey, Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Whoosh! Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh! That's all the outdoor spider! I love Willie. Miss Sanson showed us how to write letters. Down with a tape. Do you think you could have a go? I wrote my letters with a pencil. Those are wonderful. Well done. Just keep going. I want to make all the letters just right for Miss Sanson. Ping! My pencil broke. I couldn't write anymore. I didn't know what to do. Oh dear, Tig. You broke your pencil. I know how you feel. You don't want Miss Sanderson to know, do you? No. But Miss Sanderson is here to help, Tig. If you don't tell her your worries, she can't help sort them. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits and bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy worry-free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy worry-free days. Any weeny worry, any tiny trouble, any little bit of bother. Have a funny tummy, feeling kind of grumpy. All your bits of bother grow bigger. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share. Don't wait for your worries to disappear. They'll be gone in a hurry if you tell and share.
and share. Tell and share your troubles, that way they go away. Tell and share your troubles for happy boy free days. Share and tell, tell and share, share and tell, tell and share for happy boy free days. Go for it, Tig! <laughs> yes, I thought. My pencil's broken. I must tell Miss Sanderson. Oh, no worries. I'll give you a new one. There you go. No worries, said Miss Sanson, and gave me another pencil. I loved my first day at school. When I got my shoes the wrong way round, I told Miss Sanson. When I wanted to go to the toilet, Excuse me, where's the toilet? A teacher reminded me where to go. In the playground, I had no worries. My buddy Julia showed me everything. We played and had fun. After break, we had numbers and counting. Going to school was so much fun. Me and Julia had lunch together. I had lunch on a tray. After lunch, Miss Sanson read us a story. I wanted Willie to cuddle, but I couldn't find him. Said, yes, Tick? I've lost Willie. OK. I told Miss Sanson. I was so worried. Miss Sanson couldn't find Willie. Poor Willie was lost. Miss Sanson told the nice lady. The nice lady told the head teacher. The head teacher told Julia, my buddy. Do you know where he is? I know where Willie is. Excellent. On you go. Julia knew where Willie was. Willie was where I had left him when I went out to play. Middle-aged lady. I was so happy to have Willie to hug again. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like airplanes. Then they sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly. With green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. Let's try a bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like ours? You ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is OK. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck. Find out what you do like. Mmm. <laughs> I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought, I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. That's brilliant. What a good girl. But well, you're loving it, are you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. It's only a toy spider. Then the waiter came back. <laughs> With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. Did you really like it? I like new food. You like that? It's all just Willy. Yeah, he likes that. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> I love Willy. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick 
called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Check. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Check is frightened of the outside world. Till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I'm cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to the nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! Outside there was a big boat. Timmy got very excited. That's a royal sail ship. Timmy told me the big boat was an old sailing ship. That sail ship's full of pirates. What's pirates, I said. Pirates have patches, they wave swords, they jump, tumble in the sail on big ships. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't want to go on the sailing ship. Why don't Tig and I go and do something else and you two go on the ship? I didn't want to go on the old ship. It was scary. Me and Mummy drew pictures. Timmy and Daddy had fun on the sailing ship. Hey Tig, Timmy knows lots of things, but Timmy doesn't know everything. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but sometimes Timmy can make things sound a lot more exciting than they really are. <laughs> Timmy has a big, big imagination, and that's fun. <laughs> so the cars won't really drive off up the wall. The bicycles won't really race round and round the ceiling, and trains don't fly. <laughs> Timmy looked at the big old sailing ship and imagined pirates sailing the ocean. But any pirates would have left a long, long time ago. <laughs> so go for it, Tig, and have fun on the old sailing ship. Hey, and Tig, no worries, the ship won't sail away, only in Timmy's imagination. Yes, I thought. Mummy, can I go on the sailing ship now? I want to see what it's like on the old sailing ship. So I went on the ship. The only pirates on the sailing ship were Timmy and me. Timmy's pirate was a scaredy pirate. He ran away from Wooly. I like the old ship. I like Timmy's imagination. I love Willy. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, 
took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Hold hands and straight across the road and keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire guys. said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I had been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. Bye, Claire. Bye, Claire. I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Okay, take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Tig. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. Not? I am a big girl. You Daddy picked me Come up on. and carried me straight Let's across see. the road. Right. You I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, choose said a book. Daddy. No. No, I said and Why sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy! Oh. And say sorry to Daddy. On, Daddy and me story. chose a library book. Yeah, yeah. Let me take these books. The library lady got a shock yeah. when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy. Hey, Chig. 